Hi there, Graham Vincent, violin maker, musician. Um, I'm beavering away on the viola at the moment, just on the last straights really, before it goes into the UV box. It's doing a lot of sanding. I haven't actually put the nicks into the F holes yet. I'll do that as soon as I've finished this next thing and then pop it in the, um, in the UV chamber. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it actually. Um, I've spent a fair bit of time on the details on this one. Some of the things I have been known to rush a little bit on occasion. So it's actually, um, it's turning out really nicely. I'm very, very happy with it indeed. The, uh, the last video I did, the Q&A, um, I was asking sort of um, for people's opinions on uh, what I should and shouldn't do with the channel. And uh, I just wanted to start by saying, I'm not bored with violin making. I didn't absolutely didn't mean that to sound like that at all. I, um, if anything, I was just a bit worried that you might be a little bit bored with the violin making videos that I do. And I was wondering about maybe having other stuff as well. And the the, uh, the sort of responses were really interesting. Um, I mean, a lot of people were very happy with the idea of me doing other stuff as well. Um, some people quite clear that they come to this channel for violin making stuff, but they'd be okay if there was other stuff as well. It wouldn't be the end of the world, so to speak. So, but, but the overall, amongst the people who bothered to respond, the, the overall kind of message was, um, we're, not, we're not bored with it, which was a great reassurance to me. Thank you. So, um, my wife's just doing a bit of strimming in the garden, I have other sound of it. So my plan basically is to carry on pretty much as I am, but just every now and then, if there's something that I find very interesting and I think is worthy of doing a video, I'll do it. And hopefully you, you'll enjoy a little meander into a, a different part of my, uh, my life, so to speak. But most of what I do, most of the time, is violin making anyway, so. It was also interesting to um, to hear there were several people saying the you know the things they really did enjoy. I mean, there was uh, one person, I think one or maybe two people, who said they really enjoyed the um, the videos I did with musicians coming and testing things, um, and I really enjoyed doing those as well. The problem I have at the moment is that because I'm I'm working to a waiting list now. I, I mean, I, I don't own a single one of my violins, apart from the first one I made, which you wouldn't want to hear that much. Um, I, I don't really have many violins to compare and contrast. So at best, it'll be someone coming in and trying sort of one or possibly two violins. And I will certainly do that because I, I really enjoyed that. I'm hoping to get one of my mates in the next week or two to, uh, to play this one. I think I'm just gonna take this indoors and actually just run this over the kettle to just steam out any little dents and things in it. Yeah, the kitchen here is an absolute disaster at the moment because we've just ripped out this fitted kitchen. Um, so, where I use the thicknessing uh, punch thing, the thicknessing marker, thicknessing caliper, whatever you want to call it, I've got these little... So that's just had a chance to dry off a little bit. Let me just show you. Let's see. There's still a couple of little 
little dimply bits, but nothing like there were. So that's raised most of them. You can see on the front, it's, it's raised the grain as well. Yeah, that's good. Very happy with the shape of this one, it's lovely. And also I did, uh, I ran it over the, the neck as well. You can see, you have to go over the neck several times. So I'll go over that with something like P800 now. But I'll do that process several times on the neck. So. I'm just gonna get in there with a P600, a little bit. I like to go from, um, Sort of hand working with with pla planes and scrapers pretty much straight to at the most the coarsest would be about p600 because i'm not actually trying to get rid of all of the signs of hand working at all i i, I do want there to still be some inaccuracies from from working with planes and what have you because those i think are what what gives the thing Individ individuality and a handmade kind of quality, which I think is really important. Now, on the subject of not making boring videos, I do realise that these, this last stage of preparing the body for the ground is um, it's not the most exciting, but there we go. That um, process of just a quick steam like that also shows up um, any glue that's still on the timber very well quite useful. Anyway, that's good. So progress on this viola will now be only sort of like, um, you know, an hour's work a day um, and then it'll be drying and curing. So um, it's, it's actually Sunday today. Um, so Monday morning, tomorrow, I'll do a bit on this. Then I'll get this in the UV chamber and then I'll start work on the next next lot of violins. I think I'm going to make a batch of three violins. So I've got three very similar violins have been ordered. So I think I'm going to tackle them at the same time. Well, I'm certainly going to do the sort of preparation of the timber at the same time, even if I, as I progress, then change to, uh, to just finishing one at a time. Right, let's get some P800, I think. Church clock, what was that, three o'clock?
three o'clock on Sunday afternoon. The sound of gardening going on. Can't be bad. I will um, try to show you most of the stages of the actual sort of finishing of this. Um, um, I was going to use a, um, let's get this right, um, is it potassium silicate? I think it is, isn't it? Uh, ice, no, water glass, that's it. Um, but I'm not going to, because I did a test patch, because I, something, I, I mean, uh, people say that it can react with certain types of wood, so I did a, a test patch, of, well, I did a test on a piece of a pear, and it went bright green. So, for this one, I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to go down the egg albumin route, which, apart from anything else, is nice for you to see because it's an ingredient that's incredibly easy for everyone to get hold of. There's not going to be anything else worth watching happening today, so I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, thanks for your, all your input on the last video. It was very helpful for me. And uh, yeah, I shall say cheerio. So look after yourself. Cheers, folks. Bye.